Alright you guys, what up? This is Illusions here again today. I'm going to show you guys how to go through and unband your JTAG. And this is very common, especially when you host up lobbies. I'm mainly making this for my buddy Austin, aka Jesus Mods. Um, because we're going to be hosting up lobbies here soon. He just received, received a JTAG, so he's going to need a pretty good tut. And I figured I could help him out. And, um, I mean, yeah, pretty much all I'll give you I'm going to go and tell you guys a quick list of everything you need. I have the little list download a big Renoir file that you can download. You're going to need 360 Flash Tool, which is right here. You're also going to need XCX Menu, which will be internally on your hard drive for, of your Xbox, which will you use to access your files. And, um, if you don't know XCX Menu or any of the stuff I'm talking about, I would recommend looking up on Google. Just do your research so you know, your t so you know what I'm talking about. But you're going to need XCX Menu, 360 Flash Tool, you'll need Flash 360. Or 360 flash here, either one of those, I'm not real sure how it's spelled. Backwards, whatever, vice versa. And you're also going to need um, a KV underscore, I mean a KV file. And if you don't have a KV file, um, you can look up a tutorial, or I'll recommend looking up my tutorials. There's a real clip, uh, clip part in the beginning, it shows them how to combine your CPU key from your KV seller. If you don't know what a KV is, it's basically your key vault. So what you're doing is you're taking your, your um, you're taking a brand new, fresh or shared KV, which would be this one right here. And which would you buy from a KV seller like I, like off uh, I offer or eBay like a, somebody off a website, and um, they would send you a key, key vault and all the files. And the only file that you need is a KV underscore DC dot bin. So this is the only one that you need. So what I usually do is just put it in my desktop, just make it easier to find. And the next thing you're gonna do once you have everything ready, you're gonna move your um, 360 flash or flash 360 vice versa. I'm not sure how it's spelled onto your 360 flash drive. Make sure you drag the media folder over and the actual flash XEX um, program on there. And once you have that up, I have a video up right now showing you guys how to go through and dump your NAND just so it's real user friendly and we can avoid some problems just by doing that. So it should pop up right about now. To your USB. Alright, you guys, what up? Right now, I'm going to show you guys how to dump your NAND from the video, as I just said. Um, you're going to need to go ahead and have XEX menu installed. I'll get a little close up of this. Sorry for the crappy TV, you're gonna need XCX menu installed and go ahead and play that or open it up, vice versa, you know. Alright, sign into your account. If you don't uninstall XCX menu, I'd recommend just looking at materials, it's the easiest thing probably ever on a JTAG, just install it. Alright, right when it opens up, you're gonna right when it opens up, you're gonna hit R B on your Xbox. Then scroll down to flash three sixty dot XCX. You can probably barely see that. Alright, once you run it. Alright, right here it's running up. You're gonna as you can see, it will say if you want to write your up the flash dot bin to NAND, or if you want to press B to write update the areas rebooter, or if you want to X to back up current NAND. You're going to go ahead and hit X. You're going to go ahead and hit A. And then any time you can cancel. And I'm just going to go and cancel because I don't need it to um to write. So yeah, well it's writing anyways. Okay, but once you have it dumped, you're going to go ahead and put it into your to your um, computer, sorry about that, and then go ahead and you know and j get the KV and everything from it, and you should be good. All right, guys. So once you're back and you have your 360, um, you have your NAND dumped off your JTAG. That's pretty much the hardest part right there. Just dumping your NAND. It's not really that hard at all. All right. Once you have your NAND dumped, you should go going to go to my computer or wherever your 360 flash drive is. I don't have mine in. I already took mine off and put it on my desktop from earlier. So you should get a file right here. says flash dmp dot bin. All right. You're gonna go ahead and just you know just check that your desktop. I was about to say open, but you need, you don't need to open it. All right. Next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to you're gonna need to know your CPU key. And if you don't know your CPU key, I'll contact the person that sold your JTAG, or like me, the guy just gave it to me, or you can or you have Excelus, which a lot of JTAGs usually have. If you bought it from somebody, if you did it yourself, it's recommended just to put Excelus on there and just hit the uh, eject button and look at your Fuset 03 and Fuset 05 and combine those together with the Fuset 03 and then the amp of your Fuset, Fuset 05. Now we give your CPU key and it's copy that in your notepad. So once you have that done, now let's get to the main part of where you're going to switch your KVs over and stuff. So you're going to open up 360 Flash Tool. By the way, I recommend turning off your user control settings. You're going to hit run on your 360 Flash Tool. You're going to want to hit the keys tab. All right, right here you see that you got a CPU, a CPU box, and uh, one BL box. You want to make sure both these are ticked right here, the CPU and the one BL box. And make sure both these XCX the ones aren't unticked. So depending on what your CPU key is, you're going to want to type that in. Now I'm not going to put mine on here just for my safety reasons, in case you guys try to jack it. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm not going to put it in here. So I'll just say this is my CPU key right here. All right, now once you have that done, you're going to click Open File, and you're going to open up your 
the band foul. I was just gonna say band that way you don't get us mixed up. Your band dump that you dump that says flash dmp dot band that would that should come off your flash drive that you dumped. All right. Once you open up this, you'll see that you have a DVD key, and you also see that you have the um the brand of your actual DVD with the brand of your actual DVD drive. So you're going to want to uh, go ahead and just memorize both of these. I'll just go ahead and copy this one, even though this is my real one. So once you have both of those done, you, you're going to go ahead and once you have them memorized, copy them in Notepad, whatever. And we're going to want to you're going to want to go ahead and import. Sorry about that. And we're going to click the key vault, click T vault right here, then the little dotted lines, which is going to be open. All right. And you're, wherever your KV dot bin file, save that. Make sure it's KV underscore DC dot bin. That's the only file you're going to need. None of the other ones. If they send you other ones, and you're going to hit open. And you're just gonna hit OK. Now you can save this any way, any ways you want. Um, you can save it to I Love Illusions. Um, I have a hairy butthole, just something weird. I don't know. I'll just put it. Um, heart. Well, not heat. Heart me. Long time. All right. Whatever you want to put. I'll just save that to my desktop. All right. And once that's done, you want to click Open File again. Then open up the the file you just saved. It will say Heart Me Long Time Dot Ben. Alright, as you can see, the DVD and everything is going to be different. Now, the um, the actual brand of the DVD job may be different. may not. It just depends on where the KV came from, what type of Xbox. So, if it's not different, or if it is different, don't worry about it. But, what you need to do is go ahead and click Patch. Once you have it open, you're not going to type it in right there. You're just going to Patch. Then, you're going to click the Patch Key Vault. And, depending on whatever region your Xbox is, mine's NTSU. And, then, you want to delete the old DVD key. And then put it in your the one from your unbanned Xbox from your unbanned Xbox, and then depending on whatever um, type of DVD drive you have, mine was an MS28, which is a uh, Samsung 28. So you're gonna hit OK. Now this is real important. Make sure you save this the right way. You're gonna save it as up D flash. All right, up D flash, and just save it to wherever. I'll just save it to my desktop. Just make it easier to e easier to find. All right, you can exit this out. Um, and basically, if you want to keep your name on there just in case something happens, you should be good though. And you can basically delete all your rest of files. You don't really need them now, and they're pretty much useless. Because what you pretty much did is you took your old name and everything, and you just copied your whole image and just put injected a new KV in here. So you're going to take your update flash top bin and put it right back on your USB flash drive. But make sure you remove the old flash DMP dot bin off there from originally what you did before. And I'll have a video popping up right about now showing you guys how to go in and um, overwrite your name and all that. Alright you guys, now once you already have your your new um, updflash.bend, move to your USB drive which has your unbanned KV and everything on there, your key vault. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your 360 flash again, flash 360 again. And you're going to go ahead, exactly as I do, you're going to hit A. Then you're going to go ahead and hit B. Alright, and then we'll say hit A button to rest restart or start button to ignore and, and, and continue. So you're going to hit start, and then you're going to get go, then you're going to go ahead A. Now I'm not going to hit A to start, but because I already have it done, so you're just going to get A and it'll start. But just start your percentage. It'll just you'll see it'll go zero to 100. Pretty simple. Once it's done, it's very critical. Whenever it's done, it will say hit any button to continue. So you'll hit back, and then you'll hit back again. And then right when you're here at this main screen, it will say hit back one more time to shut down. And you'll hit back one more time, and it will just shut down your Xbox. Instead of me, it will go to my dashboard because I didn't do it. But it will shut down your console. And once your console is actually shut down, I would recommend just what you probably need to do is unplug your power cord for a good 10 to 20 seconds. And then plug it right back in, and you're good to go online. And you can all slip your lobbies up some more and mod up that bad Modern Warfare 2 game. And um, that's it.